So let's first start by showing an easy way to filter top members in, an, in a dimension. So let me create a project using the default data set sample order lines. And that data set has about 9,000 rows of data and the sum of cells is about $8.5 million. So I'm going to create a bar chart with cities and sales. There are a little bit more than 120 cities. And let's suppose that we only want to see the top 10 cities. So let me sort this decreasing to start with. And then I'm going to put a filter on the sales metric and a filter of type top bottom n. And when I select this by default, only the top 10 values are selected. So notice that the bar chart did filter for only 10 cities, but the total value of 8.5 million seems like it did not filter. When we set our top 10 filter, we left it at the grain of the visual, by attributes in visual. So it's only taking the top 10 of the details that are in the visual. So let's instead force this to be by city. We could pick any other attribute here. Now that I forced it, I can see that it's only showing the value for the top 10 cities, even in the visual that does not have cities as a, as a grain. So let me change this to a pivot here and add a total to it so we can compare the two totals. And indeed it's 1.9 million, which is the same. So for a moment now, let me remove that by close and go back to the default value, which is top 10 of whatever you have in each view. So notice that for cities, Rio and Toronto are number eight and nine. So now let me bring another dimension in my rows in that viz and I can see that I still have 10 rows but I don't see Rio or Toronto anymore. Since we don't have the by close enabled in our top 10 filter, it's showing us the top 10 combinations of city and ship modes. So now let's go back and change this back again to city and we will now see again 10 cities here for each of the city the breakdown of ship modes. Let me change this to five so we see it better. So because I have fixed the group by level in the filter close, first it applies to all the Vs and second, I can add any dimensions into my Vs. It will still filter only for top 10 cities and give me all the breakdown that I'm asking for just for these top 10 cities. So I can add another dimension like order priority here, for instance, and put this as columns. And I still see the same top 10 cities right there. Let me add the total and I should see the 1.1 million right there. So we're looking at the same aggregate value. Okay, so now let's move on to a different way of doing this using calculations as opposed to filters. So let me remove the totals here and then simplify the visualization for a bit. Just removing a few Vs here and removing the filter just so the example is simpler. And then let's go <clears throat> and create a custom calculation. And let's build a column that will be just a top five. There is a function called top N. So all I have to provide is a metric cells and an integer, five in this case. I validate this and I save it. And when I bring that calculation in the table, it will restrain only the individuals to the top fives, whatever individuals it is. In this case, it is city, it could be any combination. If I remove city, however, I have no grain and we're back to the same problem that we had with the filter. We need a group by close. To set a group by close here in the calculation, we cannot simply use a group by in the top end. It wouldn't do the right calculation. Instead, we have to use the attribute function, attribute of top end by city. And this is saying two things. The top end calculation, do it at the detail level of city by city. And second, consider the result as an attribute. Don't aggregate this. So for now, we see that the result is the same here. So let me move city up. The thing is different is that if I remove city, I still see one, two, three, four, five. So it kept the grain of city and I can see the same sum. Even if I don't have a grain in my report, the attribute function forced the calculation to be at the grain of city. So let's do another thing now. Let's do top five cities and one more line that would regroup all the other cities. So for this, we're going to use a rank as opposed to top end formula, rank of cells. Exact same need as for top end, we need to aggregate this by CT, so we use the attribute function. So exact same context. The difference is that it will show all the ranks as opposed to only the top five ranks. So if I bring rank and I remove the top five cities, it will show me all the cities, not just the top five, with their rank. So now 
I need a formula that aggregates everything that is above top 5 or why don't we make this top 15 instead. So we're going to have 15 rows and one more rows that shows everything else aggregated. So the formula for this will be a case when and we're going to call in the rank by CT calculation that we built. When it's uh, below 15 then return the name of the CT and else return Z all others just to be at the end of the list and let me validate this and save that so when I bring this here I can see that it qualifies let me sort this properly it qualifies all the ranked cities properly I get the name for the top cities and I get the all others for everything above 15 so now if I remove my rank I keep only that grain I can see the aggregate for all others versus all the grain for all each top cities. So I really can compare my top cities with the rest of the world, either with a sum like it shows in the pie chart here, or I can duplicate the view and I could aggregate the information differently. If I make this be, uh, for instance, a bar chart and let's look, instead of looking at the sum, let's look at the average of sales here. So the whole calculation we build remains. I'm just going to change the aggregation rule for that metric on that visual to be uh, aggregation average and average average by city. So I'm going to force this to average by city. So now the chart shows me for all the group of the non-top cities, I can see that the average is about 50,000 in this case. That's pretty interesting insight.